All right. So we want to find the area between some curves. We have a parabola, which is y equals 5x minus x squared. It's open and down, 2 and a half to the right. And then we have the line y equals x, which we can picture as a slope of 1 going through the origin. A very quick sketch with no dimension. A very quick sketch with no dimension. I can picture the line the easiest. There's y equals x in red. I also picked this problem because it is super easy to factor it. When I look up here, in my head, I am picturing this. And I see there are two intercepts, 0 and 5. So I know there's a curve here and over here at 5. And I know it looks like this, real roughly. And I want to find the area between the curves. Because I can make a good graph, because I can make a good graph. All right. So obviously I can see one of the points of intersection zero. Guys, I can't see where this point of intersection is on my graph because my graph is crappy. So actually, I'm not going to assume the zero either. Anytime you have these, I'm going to say y equals y. 5x minus x squared equals x. Guys, if I get everything on one side, I get x squared minus 4x. All right. If I factor this. Everybody, there are two points of intersection, 0 and 4. So everybody, 0, 0 is a point of intersection, and if I use 4 with y equals x, 4, 4 is the other point of intersection. I found those awfully quick. This is pre-calculus work, finding points of intersection. All right, but now let's do some calculus with it. We drew our curve, we did our pre-calc work over here. Now, someone is probably sitting there saying, couldn't you just find the points of intersection? Sure. As long as you know which curve is on top. So now I'm going to say, I'm going to integrate from where? 0 to 4. Which curve is on top? The parabola. Which curve is on the bottom? The line. What are we going to integrate with respect to? Dx. Now, I combine like terms immediately, and I, I write this, guys. I take 5x minus x. I don't want to integrate them separately. That's half the battle here, doing it together. So now I'll integrate it. I think it's 4x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 from where? 0 to 4. Now I can do the integration. 4 times 16 over 2 minus 4 cubed, which is 64. Again, I plug in the zeros. I know that these are both zeros. So I plug them in. I got some math to do. This might be one where I just grab my calculator. But I get 32 minus 64 thirds. And I get take my calculator. It's 96 thirds minus 64 thirds. It's 32 thirds. And we just found the exact area between the parabola and the line showing up above in the black hash. That's a good question. How do you know which function's on top? You don't. All right. If you're not sure, here's what I want to prove to you. All right. What happens if I accidentally do it backwards? No, it's not wrong. You just got to realize something. So I do it backwards. I take x minus 5x minus x squared dx. I go from 0 to 4. It just changed signs. So everybody, do you notice here? At this point, whoops, this point here, it was 4x minus x squared. Now it's negative 4x plus x squared. So what's going to happen to my answer at the very bottom? It's going to be negative. And guys, oh shoot. It's not bad, but it's not the end of the world. You're going to come down to the bottom, you're going to get negative 32 thirds. And you say to yourself, self, is it possible to have a negative area between two curves? Well, no, because it's always a top curve minus a bottom curve. Right? And it, a negative minus a bigger negative, it's only going to result as a positive net area. Even when the curves are below the axis. So all of a sudden you say, you get this and you go, oh, I know what I did. I put the bottom curve on top and I put a little note. You know, why, why bottom, why top reversed? And I'd spell it out a little better and then I would just change the sign. You don't have to redo it. You don't have to redo it because we have the realization. And the most important part of that realization is this. You have to understand how an area between two curves, when 
I hash the red, even though this is below the axis, why it's going to come out positive. This is going to come out positive because if you take yt minus yb on the integration, yb is a much bigger negative number, a minus a minus, right? So it's going to be greater than the negative of yt. That's why the result is positive. So when you do an area between the curves, you're always going to result in a positive answer. Finding the intersections is often the hardest part, the zero and the four, especially when I start doing intersections that are not integers, all right? So if you have your calculators, make sure you find yourself to a TI. You're going to have to have a TI-84 to find intersections eventually. Keep practicing. Okay.